morning and it is New Year's Day and we're doing something different. We're actually out on a walk. Happy New Year everyone. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> we're out on a walk because as you know the van is being changed and we're not going to show you the complete build. I know builds can get boring so we're going to surprise you on the van tour with that one. <laughs> and I'm mostly painting. You don't want to watch paint dry. Exactly. We won't, we'll probably give a little sneak peeks in uncut. So stay tuned for those. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we're out on a walk. We're doing Mount. I actually don't know how to pronounce this. Mount Nungan, or could be Nung Nung. <laughs> Not sure, but it's the sixth. To no, it's the the sixth tallest mountain. Sixth tallest mountain in the Glasshouse Mountains. And we're starting small. I'm out of breath already. Goodness. We're starting small. We were going to do Tipragargan, which is a very difficult walk. Yeah. Takes five hours return, but we haven't hiked in a very long time. And we've got a big year ahead of us, so we've got to get ourselves match fit, I suppose. Is so we're going to start training, training and such, going on these little small walks each week and see how we go. And we'll take you along, as per usual. As you can see behind me though, there is a lot of stairs on this walk. I think it's straight up. <laughs> but we've been promised good views up here, so cross fingers because my knees, as you know, aren't great. Well, I actually don't know. Maybe it's healed itself. We'll find out today. Ooh. I'm getting um, lots of rainforest vibes here, but I just realized there's lots of mozzies here because it has been raining a lot. And I didn't think to put any mozzie repellent on. So I'm gonna be going around like this the whole time. How's the knees feeling? Oh, I was just saying, yeah. I don't know. Maybe they've healed themselves. Who knows? Because it is known that if you leave them to rest, you know, things rejuvenate. We'll see how it goes. I'm not sure sitting on the couch is rejuvenation, but there you go. <laughs> you weren't expecting this many stairs, were you? I was expecting to go up, but I thought maybe it might have been like a climb on some rocks. But yeah, these are there's a lot of stairs today. I'm we'll sweating already. We're, we're and survived. Mozzies. Oh my god! I want to walk like this. That's the Sandra's patent mosquito repellent walk. They're moving. They can't land on you. So if anyone wants to use that, you're going to have to pay us commission. Um, you may be wondering, we are actually out in the middle of summer doing a mountain hike. Well, it's been really stormy recently and like the whole of Queensland and the Gold Coast have been absolutely smashed by storms recently. News this half hour, severe storms are again sweeping across the Gold Coast, bringing flash flooding back to already areas that have been hit really hard. Good evening. Parts of Queensland still recovering from the Christmas night tornado have been slammed again. And it's one of those cooler days. It's been rainy. It's forecast rain. So we thought we'd give it a go. We don't usually make New Year's resolutions and this year is no different. But in a world that's constantly buzzing with technology and deadlines, it's easy to forget the beauty that lies just beyond our screens. As we step into the new year, it's time to head out to a world where the air is crisp, the sun shines brighter, and the possibilities are endless. It's time to reconnect with nature and rediscover the joy of being outside. Pretty uh, dramatic cliff in the right in the middle here. It's got a cave down there. And it's views just around that corner, but Pretty massive. Pretty impressive. For, I don't even know if we're halfway in yet. <laughs> we could be, but I feel like we've walked five miles already. I think I've spent most of the time swiping away mozzies than anything else. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. A bit sticky, eh? I'm hoping for a bit of Sticky rain. is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> it did rain just a second ago and uh that's quite it nice. worse. <laughs> it didn't make it worse. This is like I hope it kept raining. It made the it made the air thicker. Yeah. 
It's almost like drowning on a mountain walk, eh? <laughs> I was just saying, when I stop, the mozzies land on me. So either I keep walking and die, or get sucked to death. I think it's, they're like wolves. They, they wear you down. They wear the prey down and then they attack. And oh, here we go. Keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> We've just seen a sign that says no drones. So even when we get up to the summit, we can't show you. Unless I jump off. We might be able to do a fake drone shot. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. We know stuff. <laughs> Looks like we're almost there. Well, yeah, it wasn't too bad in the end. I didn't complain much at all, do you think? <sighs> didn't take long at all. <laughs> we had a million people pass us on the way up. But you know, you've got to start somewhere, guys, eh? It takes forever to film. <laughs> oh, he's blaming filming now. Yeah, we're just old and lazy. We're just lazy and not lazy, just unfit. <laughs> what well, it looks like we're at the top, but we're not. <laughs> no, there's a... Just a short walk to the top, that's all. Another little way. Need a minute. You know what we didn't do? We didn't pack like a snack or anything. No. We normally do the whole... Not big. Not snack big on walk, track. Though. Do you remember that? <laughs> snack on the track, yeah. A lunch with a view. <laughs> yeah. We need to get back into it, eh? Just walking up to the top there and believe there's going to be rain passing through while we're up there. It's uh, typical. We're going to get wet. <laughs> Couldn't tell it's New Year's Day. This walk you? reminds me of Mount Kutha. We'll take you there one time as well. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes. You can tell it's New Year's Day, everyone out for their first day hike. <laughs> I'm just trying to start filming and one handed. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, it's going to be rain by the time we get to the summit, which will, you know, be nice. It's welcoming, but everyone's coming down and we're going up. We'd like to be a little bit different here at the Sandman. <laughs> and we were left with no people. Well, there's a, there's a couple of people down there, I believe. Uh, yeah, it wasn't like it was before. <laughs> There's the rain. This is what it looks like uh, with rain coming at you a cloud perspective. <laughs> oh well, we were complaining we were hot. This is going to be rather refreshing, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm happy about the rain or a bit worried that I'm going to be blown off the top of this mountain. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's getting worse. <laughs> we did bring rain jackets, but they can get a bit sweaty, so I'd probably not wear them. Happy New Year! Zan Ben, coming to you from a clan. Happy New Year! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is what I realized my, my camera isn't waterproof. <laughs> this is so refreshing! I need my jacket. <laughs> I need my jacket. <laughs> well, that's better. <laughs> Lucky he laughed at me with these rain jackets. He thought, oh, is this. Stupid, it's so hot, why would you wear it? Yes, yes, <laughs> my wife is wise. <laughs> Yay! It's very hot, but I'm, it's actually quite pleasant. <laughs> yeah. I think you don't want to hear some listen. Is it relaxing? I'm totally relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> As the rain came over, we decided not to rush and take cover, but just to sit, enjoy the experience. Imagine a moment of pure solitude, a serene escape from the chaos of everyday life. We were at the top of a majestic mountain, surrounded by nothing but the vastness of nature. Now this is living. I think it's time to head back down. It's been lovely up here, even though it rained. I enjoyed myself. It was really nice to get out on New Year's Day. He thinks the same, he's just not telling you so. That looks crazy. See that cloud down there? 
It's actually swirling out from the wind. That's not smoke, that's actual cloud. That's how tall we are. Which is pretty cool, to be honest. That is pretty cool, eh? Oh wow, you look like, you look really tall up there. <laughs> are you glad you came out? Actually, yeah. Really yeah, it's really nice. Really pleased with the bad weather. <laughs> yeah. Although I wouldn't have wanted to have been on this mountain the other day in that storm. That would have been very scary. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you would have lasted up here. Uh, I think we would have been fried. <laughs> All right, you ready? You ready to descend? Yes. Let's go. Another rain cloud's coming in. As we made the descent, I'm reminded that I'm not 20 anymore, and especially now the ground was wet and slippery. With weather like this, you just have to take it slow and help each other out. I think Tim and I are due for new hiking boots. Yeah, I think our shoes have, we need better grip as well because the hikes we go on team, seem to be a little bit treacherous mm. and a lot of rocks so I can feel mine, I don't know about yours, but I can feel mine slipping on the Yeah, they're, they're just old carry more ones. We really need to get some more. I've had them for like three years. suggestions for good boots? Yeah, them. please do. We'll get them soon, but um, yeah. <laughs> these are mountain design. Are these mountain design? I think they're mountain design shoes. They're supposed to be good, but they were good when we got them. Not so much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We've worn the tread. <laughs> Correction, they were Kathmandu shoes, which is a good brand, uh, but they weren't overly pricey. I guess you get what you pay for. And we got what we paid for. <laughs> <laughs> the coat is back on. Um, <laughs> there's lots of monkeys around here, and it may protect me from them. And also, I can feel the rain again. Hey. <laughs> Love a bit of rain. <laughs> um. Yes, the rain has returned. It's actually quite calming. You just sit and just listen, or we'll stand and listen. <laughs> it's really nice. When it rains, it's so refreshing and it cleans the air, rejuvenating the rainforest. So it's not just the rain you can hear. There are birds and frogs and all sorts of wildlife. So next time you find yourself in the rainforest, just take a moment to appreciate the beauty of the rain. Now that little climb's over, I think it's time that we go and got some coffee somewhere. I agree. I think we've earned it. That was amazing. I'm, I was just saying to Tim just before the camera started rolling that it's so much better than sitting on New Year's, Day, New Year's Day with a hangover. It's nice to get out in nature even though it's wet nature. <laughs> I had a really good time. Yeah. That was better than watching paint dry, eh? stumbled across this cafe that was relatively close by and I'm so glad we did. I think it was the best coffee we ever tried. I love it when you find gems like this. I have to say, that was the best coffee I have ever had. So good, we even bought a bag of beans. We bought a bag of beans. <laughs> we don't often do that. So good, I, I, although it has a lot to do with the barista. Yeah, um, he, he was, was a very good barista. He was, yeah. I'm not sure what did the coffee justice, but <laughs> we'll we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll give it a go. Best. Well, such as life goes, uh, we were going to take you to Old Petrie Town and it's just a well, historical village. It is an historical village, um, but it's got stop signs that we're not allowed in. But I think we can walk through and show you a little bit. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Hopefully we won't get caught. If we have gotten caught, it'll be the front of this thumbnail. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> well, it looks extremely shut and there is a smile you're on camera over there. So I'm not going to wander in. But we're going to come back when it is open.
like now. Okay, this is a lot better. There's even markets on this morning. So let's go check it out. As you can see, we've both changed clothes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not raining. It's a beautiful day, much better than the other day. Actually, it was probably good the way we did it. We've done the walk on the nice day, and the markets in the nice old Petrie Town on a beautiful sunny day. So let's take you around. Not too hot, either, yeah. which is nice. <laughs> let's take you around and take a look. I've never seen this before. Pickle in a pouch. I don't even like pickles. Of course Tim couldn't resist, but going to Lolly Shop, the first stop. <laughs> I think the steak, I think the second stop's gonna be coffee though. Coffee? Yeah. show you in there no filming in there but what a great shop heaps of stuff for gifts and things Love it. no sprinters you'd think they'd make a sprinter yeah they do custom orders this market was not what we were expececting it was nice and quiet room to move and heaps of cool and quirky stuff. there's a day spa here oh, maybe we should get a massage or something oh, yeah, yeah there's a day spa uh, with um we even got time for that i don't know so we spent ages the other day looking for Parisian stuff and different cushions and things like that. And we just strolled into a market and here it all is when we don't need it anymore. <laughs> Always away. They still haven't any cushions. They don't have any cushions still, but meh. The Sunday markets at Old Petrie Town have been operating for over 30 years. Unlike any other location in Brisbane, the market stalls join the historic buildings lining the streets to provide you with a unique experience. It's where local history meets trendy gourmet foods and fresh fruit and vegetables. We spent some time in this old steam and vintage machinery warehouse. It was actually quite interesting. I just read that this is only 60 years old. I would have thought that they'd be a lot older than that, wouldn't you? It says, you should supply power for their sugar mill 60 years ago. Only 60 years ago. That's amazing to me. <laughs> That's a massive generator. Imagine that one going outside your RV. <laughs> Looks like all the steam engines have a name. Like one was called Marion, one was called uh, Jennifer. It's like uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Is that what? It is? Yeah. <laughs> there was no Thomas. But one of them called Marion was taken. Was working for the council till 1968. Which is a long time it, ago. Well, it is a Just long. Like a but I thought it would have been longer. <laughs> anyway. Enough steaming. This next place was a display of old tractors and trucks. I won't lie, I remember some of this. It was making me feel really old. <laughs> this place just keeps going and going and there's a blacksmith, like Back to the Future. Governor, excuse me, but my friend and I have to trust the train. Here's to you, blacksmith. <laughs> the future. Amen. I wonder if Doc's in there. Uh, you never know. <laughs> It looks like uh, something he'd be working in back in 1885. The good thing about this market is that it's just not a market. It's in a set in an old, the old Petrie town obviously, but this, it's not too busy. It's in a wide area as well. It's really so, chilled out, eh? Hey? It's really chill. I'm so good. I just love seeing all these old buildings and wondering what it would have been like back in the day. There was even an old prison here, as small as it was. As we meandered through the town, we couldn't resist popping into the local shops and boutiques. Each one offered a treasure trove of handmade crafts, vintage finds and local delicacies. We took our time browsing, appreciating the craftsmanship and supporting the local artisans. So now we've worked up an appetite walking around this great little town actually. It's really interesting to see all the old buildings so still. So cool. Highly recommended. Yeah. The, her the heritage is really good. Yeah. <laughs> very very heritagey. <laughs> I'm impressed. It's, it's kind of strange to think that this used to be an old town back in the day. So yeah, and it's, yeah, it's hard really to you know, imagine people walking around and this just going about their daily in. lives. Yeah, and, that's and, it's, right. and it's so scattered as well. 
unless they made it that way. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it, is this the original layout? I, well, I'm not sure. Be, it wouldn't move the buildings. <laughs> well, they could do. But I suppose they could. Australians love moving buildings. Yeah. There's actually whole um, like parking lots full of buildings. You can go and find yourself a wooden building. That's pay true. Pay sixty thousand for it. Yeah. Have it delivered to wherever you want it, and they put it down for you. But it's there's a, old Queenslander houses. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, so we're going to go breakfast get some breakfast time. now, and uh, we'll catch you in a minute. That's it for us this week. I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to sit and enjoy our breakfast, but please subscribe if you haven't already. And... And always leave a comment. See you Bye. later, guys. So, you may be wondering why we've been out on a... Let's start again. <laughs> what with children here? <laughs> You know, we needed to get out and about. I don't know where I'm going with this. You were going to say it. You were going to say it. <laughs> well, that was better than watching paint. <laughs> Okay, we got it, we got it now!